Hey guys, I am back with some super exciting makeup news. Those of you who have been following me for a while may remember that pre-pandemic, I had the honor to release a limited edition Liana Veda fitness planner by Trish McAvoy. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all watching the video. Thank you for ordering your planners. You guys are amazing. And guess what? There's a new version. There is a 2022 limited edition Liana Veda fitness planner with, of course, my faves and the Trish Hero products and staples in here with a few little tweaks. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain to you how to use what is in this limited edition value set. And there's more. Not only do we have a Liana Veda fitness planner, and again, guys, it doesn't matter if you're into fitness or not. It's just a super easy lifestyle planner with all my faves in it, but it's great for those of you like me who are in fitness. We have a skincare planner. Ah, first time. So I am so excited about this too in this beautiful white case. Please check the link below because I have a completely separate video explaining to you all of the amazingness that comes in the skincare planner as well. Because here's the deal. If your skin doesn't look great, your makeup's not going to look great. People always wonder like, oh, my makeup looks dull or it doesn't look the same, da, 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 but they're not even taking care of their skin. Your skin is number one. So I felt like they needed to go hand in hand and Trish is so amazing that she made that happen for me. So again, guys, I am not the seller of these products, but I am your direct connection. So when you reach out to me, I personally put the order through for you at the Trish warehouse where they hand place every item in your limited edition planners and then they come directly to you okay so you do want to reach out to me in my email that is below yes I am going to be answering you and I'm happy to help you guys with any makeup or skincare questions that you ever have okay so let's get started let's do this again skincare is first make sure that everything is prepped and primed go to the link below check out that whole video You'll thank me later. Let's talk planner. Okay, what is this right here? This is the most amazing wardrobing system for your makeup. Trish McAvoy created and patented this idea, which is the planner system. So in here, you are able to organize all of your makeup. It lives in one place. It's super easy to find, super easy to use, customizable. You can add as many pages as you would like, and then you can pop out your refills whenever needed. It is great for travel. I love this because I keep it with me day to day. I'm not going to tell you how many planners I have because it's really scary. But this is my keep it in my bag, keep it in my purse. It goes to the gym. It comes on the plane. It has all of my basics in it and it's in one place. You zip it up and you go. You don't even have to think about it. And look at how compact it is. So this is next to my hand. Don't mind my long nails, but you'll see how small it is. But yet it's loaded and it's flexible and you can fill it up to the brim with whatever you need. Now I have it upside down, but look, it didn't fall out. That's the amazingness about this product. The planner is awesome. Never mind all of the magic stuff that's in it, okay? So the planners do come in various sizes, but for this limited edition set, because it is a lifestyle and easy to use planner, it does come in one of our smaller size planners, okay? So let's talk product inside. And again, I am going to... I'll go through these a little bit quicker than I did in my last video because you do have the last video as a base if you want to go back and watch that because a lot of the products in here are the same. It's just a few extra added additions because like all Trish limited edition planners, you're always going to find your staple products and I'm going to do half face so that you guys can see the difference, okay? And it will save us on some time. But we are going to start with our eyes. Why? The eyes are the windows of our soul. You want them to be the brightest things that are shining just like you whenever you meet someone, right? You want your eyes to speak volume. So again, you should already have your eye serum, your eye cream, everything prepped and ready to go. So let's start with our eye base. Uh, 
amazing 24 hour wear now of course we're not really always going to wear these for 24 hours we are going to wash our face but i must tell you i travel a lot and there have been times that i have had these bad boys on for like 18 or 20 hours and they have not moved and my makeup still looked amazing when i landed on that tarmac so this stuff really works why do we use an eye base an eye base is going to get rid of any darkness on top of our lids because remember this area is very very sheer the skin is very sheer which which is why we can see our veins and all kinds of things happening on the eye. So it tends to be a little bit darker. So not to be confused with the concealer for under your eye. This is your eye base, which is a base for your eyeshadows. It's a cream to powder finish. So you can actually wear it alone if you would like. And it dries and it looks like a shadow. Okay. So keeps everything from creasing, controls the oils, brightens the eye. This is Trish's step number one because the eyes are the most important. Now. In a perfect world, you would apply this with a brush, but because I'm going through only what is in the limited edition planner, and let's be real, sometimes we don't have time, fingers, as long as they are clean and sanitized, also work for a lot of blending when it comes to makeup. So I'm going to show you how to apply this and blend with your fingers. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny bit because less is more, and I am going to apply this right in the center of my eyelid. And with my ring finger, because it is the most gentle touch I am going to blend this inwards and upwards now why would I want to use a brush I would want to use a brush because I want to get really close in here in this inner corner and close to my lash line and this is where Trish calls this area the danger zone because I want to make sure that all of my eye is bright and all of my eye is based and primed, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. I can get away with it with my finger. But again, I just want to show you how to use what is in your planner. But when you reach out to me, I am happy to show you how to use our cream lay down brushes, everything that you need to complete a look when you want to play with your brushes. And I have a surprise for you in here, but I'm not going to tell you yet because it'll be a spoiler alert. But anyway, look at that. Cream to powder finish. Look at how that brightened up my eye. See, instant pop, an instant pop. And again, I can wear this alone. Now, this does come in a few shades. So when you reach out to me, depending on your skin tone, I can help you choose which one you are going to receive. For me, this is bare. I also play around with tan and demure sometimes if I want a little bit of a sparkle. So we do have different options, but you will be receiving your eye base. And look, cream to powder finish doesn't come off didn't move okay so it's going to control all those oils on my lid because we do have oils up here we don't have any under here but we do have them up here it's going to control that and keep everything from creasing and keep it staying on all day next we have an eyeshadow surprise and why do i call it an eyeshadow surprise because you will either receive a 24-hour shadow stick which you guys know I am completely obsessed with and love it like crazy, okay? Or you will be receiving a 24-hour fast track stick, which I am also obsessed and in love with, but they are two different products. Both can be used on the eye, but this one can also be used on the face. Why do I say that it's a surprise? Because these guys are in such high demand in all shades and colors that it depends on availability at the time when you order your planner. So we may have these or we may have these. We may have both. We may be able to pick, but I want you to see how you can use either one because when it comes to ordering your planner, you will have an awesome surprise in there. Okay. So I'm going to start with highlight and it's the fast track stick because it's a lighter shade. And then I can show you how I would use topaz, which is my other favorite shade. Okay, so again, we could be using a brush with this, but if this is a fitness planner and you're taking this to the gym or you're taking this to work and you need something really quick and easy, you're going to use your fingers. We're just going to blend it on. Okay, so I'm going to put this right over my eye base. And again, I'm only doing a half face technique so that you guys can see the difference. And then with that ring finger again, I am going to blend it inwards and upwards. And I want a little bit of sheen under my brow. So I want to pick this up just a little bit. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see a little bit of that pearl essence that it has right there and I want to lift my brow bone a little bit okay I want that eye to look lifted highlights I love this 
This is great because you can use it actually as a highlighter on your face as well, which I will also teach you how to use. But I wanted you to see what it looks like as a shadow base because it's one of my favorites. And I'll put it on my hand here too so that you can see. It has a beautiful cream color. It's not too white. It's not too yellow. It's not too gold. It blends and it matches every skin tone. It's gorgeous. Okay, so that's highlight. Back to my other all-time fave is our 24-hour shadow stick. This is in the shade Topaz. Love this. Now, because I already have this base on, I'm going to use this just close to my lash line so that you can see what it looks like, but this can also be used all over the lid, okay? So you can use this a little bit darker at the lash line and then blend it up. And don't bring it past like mid crease right here. Um, if it's going to be your base color, depending on your skin tone, and you want to lightly take it up to your brow bone, go for it. But there's a million and one things that you can do with this because this actually is an eyeliner pen as well. So I'm going to start, and again, I'm always going to work in because I don't want to drag and pull my eye out. So I'm just going to put a nice thin layer of this across. And again, guys, we're using fingers. But if you needed to use a brush, we have a beautiful new smudge brush that can be used wet or dry Oh my God, it's gorgeous. So hit me up and I can tell you about it. Now these guys dry super quickly. So please blend it out as fast as you can, whether it's with your finger or with your brush. And we're gonna blend it all the way in. And notice how I kept it a little thicker in the outer corner. That's so that it lifts my eye a little bit. Look at that. Let me get a little closer to you. So see how it's a little thicker here in the outer corner, like it's a little wedge, and then it's thinner as it comes in. And I'm just literally blending it up towards like halfway of like midpoint of my lid. And look at that. Super soft and amazing. Now, we're doing a half face technique, so I don't want to put it on this eye because I want you to see the real wow factor, but I am going to put it on my hand because I want you to see what it would look like if I put it on and then just blended it out really softly as a shadow and didn't use it as a liner. So see, if I wanted to put that all over my lid blended nicely, and I don't have any eye base on this hand, so what would happen Without an eye base, it goes on a little bit more sheer. On top of the eye base, it's a little more opaque. So do you see how that changes the color a little bit? Life is all about options, okay? All about options. How easy was that? You guys know me already, and for those of you who are new, again, sorry, but I talk a lot because I feel like I need to inform you of all of this amazing, amazing information, okay? So again, eye base and you have either your highlight or your 24 hour shadow stick surprise in your planner. And if one comes in the planner, but you really loved how I did with the other one, we can get it for you. Cause remember your planner is customizable and we're gonna build it specifically for you. So moving on, let's talk eyeliner. Now this time in this planner, you guys are going to be receiving a different color of the gel pencil. I am obsessed and in love with these gel pencils, okay? If you want to use a brush, you absolutely can because this is a super soft gel. Look at how that glides on. I'm barely even touching my hand, and this glides on so softly and so smoothly. And if you want to blend it out and use it close to the lash line and smudge it a little bit, just go ahead and blend it right away. Make it look a little softer, um, because this also does dry very quickly. But once it dries, it doesn't move. So I'll show you that in a second so that you can see. But what do we do with this amazing gel eyeliner pencil? We do what's called tight lining. Trish is all about tight lining. Why? Because we want our lashes to look nice and full at all times. So what does that mean? It means that I'm going to make sure that this pencil is nice and sharp and with if I'm a righty, which I'm gonna use my right hand right now, I'm gonna take my opposite hand, my left hand, and I'm gonna take my ring finger, and I am going to press it inwards. I am not going to do this. I'm not gonna pull my eye. Please don't do that. It gives me anxiety just thinking about it, okay? I am going to gently press right at the base of my lash line. What happens instantly? my waterline is exposed right away. I don't have to pull. I don't have to tug. I don't do anything. Now, your eyeliner is not going on the waterline. Why? Because the waterline stays 
wet. It's a water line. It's there for a reason. It hydrates our eyes and keeps them hydrated all day, right? So if we put this fast drying gel pencil, look at that, look at that, look at that, doesn't move, on the water line, it's never going to dry. And that would mean it would fall down to your lower lash line, which we don't want. We want this to fill in your lashes. So I am going to hold this pencil upright. I am not going to hold it like a writing utensil, okay? I'm going to hold it like this. Maybe that's a little easier for you. If you can hold it like this, go for it. But I do not want you coming at your eye, okay? Don't come in straight. You have to come in from underneath, however you hold it. And what we do is we start from the outside, and you're going to play connect the dots with your lashes. I am literally pressing and wiggling this into the base of my lashes all the way across where I have even my little teeny baby lashes. And remember, we don't want to get it on the waterline on that membrane. What happens if you do? Just take a Q-tip and wipe it away. Look at the difference between my eyes already. Ha! Ah, see how that filled in my lashes and I have no mascara on yet. So all we do again is play connect the dots and if it gets on the waterline, just wipe it away. But you want to press and wiggle this. Now, in the other planner, we had black, which is a little more intense. This is deep aubergine. So it's very soft and it's very subtle. It's beautiful. It just gives you a little bit of pop. And if you want to put it on top as a liner, I'm going to put a tiny wedge just in the outer corner and I'm going to blend that in softly just in that teeny tiny outer corner of my eye because what does that do? It lifts my eye instantly. See that? Just make sure you blend it. Again, if you want perfection with that, I definitely suggest that you use a brush. Again, I am a big brush person, so I always have my brush planner. But today, for all intensive purposes, I'm only showing you how to use what's in your planner. Your brushes would be separate, okay? So it's a little bit different. But I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise and I wasn't going to show you until later, but I'm going to explain it now because I feel like it's relevant. There is one brush that comes in this planner, but it is not a cream product brush, which is why I did not choose to use it for any of these products because everything I have put on thus far is a cream base. That means it is a liquid, not a powder, okay? But you will receive the brand new baby from Trish, which is the all over eye and face brush. This brush is incredible. So if you don't know about Trish brushes, please go to the link below because I have a brush, uh, a link talking about all of my favorite brushes. Trish's brushes are all natural hair bristles, but Trish is sanctioned by PETA. So she is a cruelty-free company. The brush quality is untouchable. These brushes are incredible. And this is a double-ended, one for the face and one for the eye. Now, you'll notice that they are tapered and they're very soft. They are designed to use with powders, okay? So, because all of our shadows were cream, again, I didn't use them. But we do happen to have a bronzer in here. And I'm just going to show you because I'll show you the brush later. But I, I felt like I just needed to tell you that there is one brush in here. We have our Dual Resort Bronzer Duo in here. I can use this brush with that. And if I wanted to, and I will just so that you guys can see, I would take the highlight color or the bronze color and I can lightly dust that over my eye because they work as shadows. If you've watched my other video, you will know that I love to use bronzers as eyeshadows and contours and all of that fun stuff. So at, while we're here, let me just show you. I'll take the darker side of the dual resort. Can you tell I like it? <laughs> Can you tell I like it a lot? So I'm going to take that brush and I am going to gently put that in there and I'm going to tap off the excess. Did you see it? There it went. Ta-da. And I'm going to place this right in the crease. So right in the socket and I'm softly just going to sweep it back and forth. And what does this do? It just gives me a little more definition. So again, guys, these are all optional tips and tricks, but I would feel like I wasn't giving you enough if I didn't show you. Look at that. Okay. Hello. I don't even have mascara on yet, 
But I just wanted to show you that if you did want to play with the bronzer and highlight that are in here, you can go ahead and use the brush. Okay, so it's amazing. So I'm going to put that down for now because I just got really excited. All right, so we finished our tight line. What is left for our eye? Now, please remember, you can put as little or as much as you want. It's all about you. Eye base, no eye base, shadow stick, no shadow stick, liner, no liner, whatever makes you feel good and makes you feel confident because this is all about you. Next is the mascara. Guys, I think since I was like 14 years old, I was obsessed with this mascara. This is hands down the best mascara you're ever going to find. It is a tubular formula, which means that it is water resistant, smudge proof, flake proof, but yet can be removed with just warm water. Go to my Instagram and I did a video to show you how to do that. It's incredible. So what it does is it encapsulates your lash. Now in this planner, you have the lash curling. Okay, so in the last planner, we had high volume, which is, I love them both. And in a perfect world, Trish uses both at the same time. But this one has lash curling. So what it does, let's look at the brush first. The amazing brush, okay? Always take off that little bit of excess that's there because the, the purpose is for this whole brush to be filled with magic, right? But you just want to get it off the end. So this is a nice fluffy brush. It's beautiful. So this is going to give length and definition to your lashes. If you have the high volume mascara, use that at the base and then use this one at the tips. But for now, I'm going to teach you how to use this guy. And what I'm going to do is I am going to let's see how I lifted. How cool is that, right? So I'm lifting, but I'm going to stamp this. So I'm pressing and wiggling it just into the base of my eyelashes first, okay? Just at the bottom. Now, with the eyeliner and this, already look at the difference between my eye. I didn't even pull it all the way through yet, okay? So then I go and I take it and I pull it all the way up, all the way through. Now, what I love about this mascara, other than how it comes off because it's amazing and how it stays, because you guys know I'm a sweaty mess and I can record, teach a marathon, do whatever I do. And this stuff doesn't go anywhere all day. Um, but what I love about it is that it's buildable. So I can go ahead and go through and do one coat of this right now. And I'm just, I, I love mascara. So I'm just giving it a little bit more. And remember, wiggle it at the base and then pull it up through the tips. But I would then go, look at that, to my other eye, apply it. And then I can come back to this eye and I can add another coat because I like a lot of mascara. And it's not going to look like spider legs. It's not going to be clumpy. Do you see how they're still beautiful and separated? Get them out here in the corners, all the way inside, and all the way up to that tippity tippity top. And then once this stuff dries, it's bendable, it's flexible, it's beautiful, it's jet black. So look at that. It's all about my eye. Huge difference, right? Look at that. And again, you can put as many coats as you want, but it's all about the eye. So the eye completely popped. That is the most magic mascara. And when I go to remove it, what am I going to do? I'm going to wash my face. I can use my makeup eraser to remove my makeup. But when I go to rinse with my cleanser, I am going to just add warm water and it's literally going to roll off in tubes. Yes, you heard me. It rolls off in tubes. Amazing. Okay, let's go to the under eye. Love the under eye. You are going to get a travel size instant eye lift, magic product, skincare, and a corrector all in one. So let me tell you a little bit about instant eye lift. Instant eye lift, again, is a skincare treatment, but it also corrects darkness under your eye. It helps to boost collagen. It has dual action peptides in it. It's very hydrating, but you do want to make sure that you're always wearing your eye serum or your eye cream because it does have caffeine in it and it doesn't dry you out, but it does its job. It brings down puffiness. So like any under eye product, please make sure that you are hydrated. 
Now, this is not designed to be a concealer, but it is a corrector. And some people are able to just wear this alone and not need to add an additional concealer. You can just use your eye lift and call it a day. But maybe you have a lot of extra darkness under your eye. Maybe you need to tweak a little bit of things, right? You can also add a concealer on top of it. Okay, does that make sense? So remember, it's not a concealer, but yet it can do the job of a concealer that you don't need any additional products. Now, this can be used alone or it can be used in combination with one of my other favorite products, which is new to this edition of the planner, which is called Luminizer. I also want this in a big, huge roll tube that I can put it all over my body because I love to highlight anything possible and not just like be shiny, but I just love to be bright. So I'm going to show you how to use this before we use this. Okay, so this is my luminizer. I'm going to crank this bad boy up a little bit. Now, I suffer from darkness in my inner corners of the eye. Let me get close so that you can see the realness. This is this is real, okay? So nice and, and decent amount of darkness under my eye. My puffiness has already come down. Why? Because I used the Trish Beauty Booster Eye Serum and I prepped my face before I sat with you guys. It really brings down the puffiness instantly. But I have darkness in my inner corner. So what do I want to do? I want to take this in the danger zone and I I want to place it in the inner corners of my eye all the way up to kind of the top where that eye base met and I want to do that bye just kidding we're gonna blend it in of course so press it in now there's a reason that I'm not bringing it out here in the outer corners why I don't have darkness out there maybe I have a little puffiness you have to remember that makeup is a reflection of light so anywhere that I put a highlight it's going to make it stand out okay and if it's puffy it will make it protrude so if you suffer from severe puffiness under your eye there's a special way that you would want to apply this you could use it as a trick to highlight around the puffy area and make it kind of even out but to be honest with you if your eyes are super puffy you want to just use the eye lift by itself you don't need this okay so this is more for darkness and we are going to put that in the inner corner what else can I do with this a lot of fun things that I'm going to show you when we get to the face area but we're just focusing on eyes right now so do you see how that brightened up all that darkness in the inner corner of my eye let me blend it a little bit more now that I'm zooming in and super close to you again that's why you would want to use a brush. This is my favorite brush. Again, it's in my brush video, but I would take this guy and I would really like press it in and make sure that everything is nice and blended. Okay. But again, it's not in the planner, so I don't want to confuse you and I don't want to get you too excited, but go to the other video and get excited. Okay. So instant eye lift. There is a technique to this. It is called the triangle of light. Why is it called the triangle of light? You will see. So there's a lot of videos out there talking about where to place your concealer, how to lift your eye. Now, remember, those rules do not apply here. They don't really apply to a lot of things, but that's a personal opinion. There's like certain ways that everybody should do things, right? All eye shapes are different. All face shapes are different. So I get it. But there's people out there who are like, you cannot do it like this. I'm not that person. I'll guide you and tell you you shouldn't do something a certain way, but I'm here to help you. Now, because this is not a concealer, you are going to do this a very specific way. And it's not going to look correct according to some of the other videos you may have seen. Okay, so we're going to take this in that danger zone and we are going to draw a V. down. This is my cheekbone right here. And then I'm going to lift it up in that outer corner and I'm gonna close it, and this is a triangle. And this is called the triangle of light, and it's all over my hair, this happens all the time, don't mind me. This is how it starts, and there's a reason for this. First of all, this is a very active product, and I can already feel it working, which makes me so excited, because I think it's so amazing. But there's a method, a technique to this. This is going to lift the entire, this entire area of your face. Yes, I'm going to blend it in, and I wanna fill it in, but again, brushes are phenomenal, but I'd be lying if I said that you couldn't use your fingers 
and I'm a Boston girl, we tell the truth, we say it like it is, but even if you do use a brush and you use it to get in here, right, you always want to finish your application by tapping with your finger anyway because it blends everything in and it mixes everything with the warmth of your finger, okay? Now, you don't want to be able to see the triangle at all, but you want it to do its job. Look at that. Do you see how this entire side of my face looks lifted? Hello. Hello. It's magic. It's literally a magic product and it's skincare. But do you see, I really don't need to use anything else. I did a little bit of brightening in here and then I did the instant eye lift and it did exactly what it needed to do. I don't need an extra concealer. I don't. Maybe some of you do. I can teach you how to use our Correct and Even, which is a beautiful full face reflector, not only for your under eye, but I can get away with just that. And my eye area is done. Maybe we throw on a little brow, do a little jig, whatever you gotta do but you're good. Look at how bright my eye is and my eye completely stands out. That is what you want. Okay. You guys with me so far? Let's finish it up because we're almost done. So you guys know that I sweat a lot, like a lot, whether I'm working out or not. So a lot of times I don't wear foundation. On a daily basis, I don't wear foundation. If I need to, maybe I have a shoot or maybe I'm going to go out, something, I use the Trish Beauty Bomb. It's amazing, okay? It's amazing. I put it all over my face. It has SPF 35 in it. It has a built-in primer. Let me know and I can help you find your perfect shade, but it's amazing. So I would put that on and then I would set it with a translucent powder because translucent powder is amazing. If you've never used the Trish translucent powder, you are in for a surprise because it is the best and I've tried them all. It's actually a blurring powder, okay? It's phenomenal. Again, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge. With that one, you don't want to use your fingers. But if I'm not using my Beauty Balm, I love to use my Correct and Even and no, this is not in the planner, and I promise I wasn't going to do this, but I want to show you the translucent powder, so I feel like I need to just show you, and it's the number one question I get asked. Liana, what foundation do you wear when you work out? I don't, okay? But I use our Correct and Even, and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit right here, like where my nose is a little red, just for right now, just so that you can see, and a little bit on my chin, okay? And I am going to just blend it in with my finger. Why is this so amazing? It's buildable coverage. It's technically a concealer. Yes, you can use it under your eye if you would like, but it looks, moves, and feels like skin. It's incredible. It actually has a movable and flexible technology, so it moves with your skin, and it looks like skin. That's it. It's gone. I don't need foundation. I'm not trying to be one of those people like, oh, I don't need to wear foundation. I don't need to because I'm going to, I sweat, you know, the beauty bomb stays on like so incredible, but I'm going to be sweaty. And if I don't need the coverage, I don't feel, I personally don't feel like I need the coverage. So I just do this and everything is even. And if I wanted to then go set it, which I would suggest you do want to take a brush and I'm just going to press it in to that area. Why am I going to press it? I want the liquid to actually absorb this powder because this is a blurring powder. When you use the Trish translucent powder, it's like you are using an Instagram filter. There's no filters on my phone right now. I just have my fabulous ring light that you can see reflecting in my eyes so you can see any like marks or discoloration on my face. But now do you see how this just blurred itself right out? Instagram filter, okay? It's incredible. It's really, really incredible. You guys with me so far? All right. So let's talk about the other powder that's in there and let's pull that magic brush back out. Now, again, there is a video where I talk about how to care for your brushes and that's why I have my plastic cases on here because I like my brushes to keep their shape. So after I use them and I clean them off when they're dry, I just pull these guys back up and I put them in my planner so that the brushes and the bristles don't get damaged, okay? So that's why this plastic is on here. So when you get this brush, the plastic comes on it, just boop, boop, I just slide them down, okay? 
You guys with me? So we have a dual resort bronzer. I love this. Why do I love this? Because it comes with a highlight and a bronze. So you can use either or for an eyeshadow. Remember, that's my favorite. So I took that and that's when I placed it in here just in the crease. If you wanted to use the highlight as a base shadow color over your eye base, you can do that as well or we can use it for the face. And because of this handy dandy brush, we are able to use it. Now, I'm gonna show you a look with blush and highlight. I'm gonna give you some options. I love bronzer, but again, I don't have a bronzer brush in this planner, so I want you to go and check out or maybe you have a brush at home that you could use for the darker side of your bronzer. But go check out my other video because I explain in depth how and the where and the when and the why on how to use your bronzer, okay? And again, it's different for everybody's face shape. There's a million videos out there that teach you how to put it on, whatnot. It's very basic. We're gonna add the warmth, add the color back into our face, okay? So go check out that video when you have a second. But right now we're gonna talk about bright color and we're gonna talk about highlight. Now remember this guy that I talked to you about before, the Luminizer? I want to teach you a trick. Remember this guy from the previous planner? This is a liquid face color. I am obsessed with this. This lives in my bag 24 hours a day because it is the most quick fix for anything. We're going to use it on our cheeks, a little bit on the nose. You can put it on your lips, like you can put it anywhere. And what I love the most about it is that it has, let's see where I have nothing on this hand, holographic pigment, which means that it's going to adjust to match your skin tone. So on me, it tends to pull a little bit more peachy because I'm an olive skin tone but maybe when you put it on it's going to pull a little more rosy but it is going to come out to be the perfect color for you love 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 this it's super sheer and it's amazing okay so i'm going to crank this up a little bit and i just want you to see what happens when i apply a tiny bit to my cheeks love this stuff it just gives me a little bit of life just a little bit okay just a little bit of life love it love it so see how it just gives me that little bit of that coral look to my cheek now if you wanted to make this more sheer and give yourself a little bit more sparkle not sparkle maybe like pearlescence you know what you can do take your luminizer what do i do i take a little bit of luminizer and then i take a little bit of liquid face color and then i do the good old mixeroo so this is a second option, okay? And this is just going to make it even more pearly. Look at that. I love it. I want to put that on top. Ah. So it makes it a little bit of a lighter color, and it looks like a highlight. So you could also put the liquid face right here. And of course, at home, like you can just take this. This is yours. You can put it right on your face, okay? So we can just go like that. Hello, it is mine. You can go like that, and then you could put your highlight which is your luminizer out here. And then you can kind of blend them together and just give yourself a little bit of a lifted look. I always want like a little bit of a color on my nose just to give it a little something, something. And what's beautiful about this is you can put it on your lips too if you want, but I have another lip color that I'm gonna show you so I don't wanna ruin it for you. But do you see how that works? That is amazing. Now, if you really, really love highlight like I do, and not overdone, because look at how subtle that looks when I step away. Of course, the light on it makes it reflect even more. But I'm not about having a whole highlighted and contoured cut face. I want you to look like you. Just a nice, bright, shiny version. Shiny as in like your soul is shiny. I don't want your skin to look shiny. But there's a difference between sheen and shine and dew. So just give yourself a little bit of pop, right? In here, we have that dual resort, remember? So if you do like to highlight, because I'm not hating on those of you who really like to highlight, we can contour and we can highlight using this fancy new brush with both the bronzer, like if I wanted to contour my nose just a tiny, tiny bit, okay? with the bronzer. And again, I'm just doing half face, so this will look really silly. And then you have the lighter side, which is your highlight. So let's brighten up like a little bit of the face right here. 
And if you wanted to bring it down the nose, highlight the lip area a tiny bit. Look at that. Or really brighten it under the eye, like right here in that outer corner. You can do that too with this awesome brush. So there's so many options. So, so many. Last but not least, let's talk about lips. You guys know me. I've showed you this before, but this time it comes in your planner. I don't know if you're ready for this. Are you ready for this? What is that? Are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Are you looking at me like I'm crazy? For those of you who are just here with me for the first time, yeah, I'm a little bit crazy, but this is my favorite lip color ever. This is called Mulberry, and I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh my God, I would never wear that. Oh my God, I could never wear that. Guess what? Every single one of you out there can wear this and watch. I'm, I'm gonna put this on my whole lip just because I love it and I need you to see what happens. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. This is a sheer lip color. Watch. Fooled you, didn't I? I freaked you out when you saw this color. This color is gorgeous. It looks beautiful on everyone. It just enhances your natural lip color. You can put as little or as much as you want. You can go ahead and you can add a little bit of a lip gloss on top of it. You can get fancy. Look, I'm going to put some luminizer on top of it hello you can do a million and one things with this beautiful yet scary color right here so this is called mulberry and it is a sheer lip color and it does come inside your planner so what do you guys think half face Now, I would probably throw on just a little bit of brow because I'm obsessed with my brows, but not a lot. But again, you can keep this as minimal and as basic as you want, or you can completely glam up your entire face with everything that is in this planner right here. So again, guys, I am not the seller of this planner, but you do have to contact me to grab it. What is the extra bonus about this planner? It's a value set. Everything that comes in this planner, individual, including the planner itself, you're looking at about $500 worth of product. How much is this planner? $195. Yep, that's it, $195. So it's more than half off. So run and grab this. So again, guys, if you need to ask me any questions, maybe you wanna add in a moisturizer, Maybe you want to add in a foundation. You have questions about brows. Any questions you have, any questions you have about the video, leave them below or shoot me an email. But I am here for you always and forever with all of your Trish or makeup and fitness questions. But go ahead and shoot me an email. Grab your limited edition Liana Veda Fitness Planner version two. Super excited. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your love. You guys are amazing and I will see you soon.